Welcome back to my channel, you beautiful besties. Today we are going to make these gorgeous little super easy heart charms to put on your Valentine's nails. And it starts by making hearts. <laughs> and really, it's just that simple two dot method that you draw hearts on your nails with. And when I was doing that the other day, I thought if I did this on backing paper, which is what we're doing now, this is just backing paper from Nail Forms. Sorry, this was my computer telling me something was wanted. Um, but anyway, um, I just decided to go ahead and draw them on these backing forms and then use those to make 3D charms for these nail tips. So now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this process with several colors here. We're going to do a pretty yellow one. Now on this yellow one, I kept this part of the footage in because I added too much polish and I just wanted to show you, you can just use your brush to pull it back up. So don't worry about that. And I probably could have put it back in the bottle, but um, I just wiped it off on a paper towel. It was easier because it was right in my hand. So now I'm making a blue one and a pretty little pink one. And I've got the shape pretty much where I want it, but I realized I did not bring those points down enough. So we're just strengthening that heart shape and then we're gonna pop it all in the lamp. <clears throat> there was a little pink on that brush and I ran it through the blue one just to give it a little visual interest. It didn't really turn out how I thought it was going to. So I decided why not make a half and half one where one half is red and one half is pink. So I really like how this one came out because it's almost a little bit of an, of an ombre in the middle there. And it's definitely got a pink side and a red side. So that was definitely really fun to me. Now that they are all cured up, we're gonna come in with some top coat. And I'm just running that along the hearts. And then we're gonna use that tiny brush to just spread it out and make sure that it is completely covering that nail and giving it sort of a domed, rounded effect. And we are 100% gonna do this twice to really make sure we get that domed effect. Um, I did originally try to do it with builder gel, but I just found it was too thick and these are kind of small, right? So it's a little harder to maneuver that into the tinier spots. So I went with um, just some top coat and it ended up working just fine. And now we're coming in and adding some more. And if you get kind of crazy like I did here, you can definitely come in with a cleanup brush. I'm gonna show that in a bit. Um, and clean off anything that spills off the side of your hearts. And you're gonna see that right here where I get a little crazy with that brush. I got way too much top coat, it's spilling off the side. So what I'm gonna do is just come in with that cleanup brush and follow the, the shape of the heart and get it nice and cleaned up. And ta-da, it's exactly what we want and just spread that top coat around. Really make sure it hits all the corners and sides because you really wanna make sure that you have that beautiful 3D pillowy look. That's what you're going for. As if you're not gonna do that, you might as well just draw it on there, right? That's, that's the way I see it. And now we're just gonna come in and do that over here as well on these three. And I'm realizing right here that I didn't, the way I was doing it before going, you know, moving the brush around, that was really unnecessary. One little dot and then spread it around. It's a little bit easier and it makes for a less mess and you don't have so much stuff spilling off the sides. Now what I'm gonna do is just flip these over because even though we've cured them over and over again, and you do wanna make sure you're fully curing these, don't just flash cure them. It's not gonna be good enough and you're not ever gonna get it cured enough. And even with full cures, you can see some of these do have a little bit of gel still on, on the bottom that's not completely cured. So just, we're gonna clean that up 
and then I'm going to pop those back in the lamp to make sure they're completely cured. And now to make sure that the bottom side is also just as rounded, we're going to do the same process over again with the top coat. Um, now you want to, as, as you saw there with that yellow one, when I touched it, it picks it up. So you absolutely, and you can't just use this, it moves around because it's got a rounded shape on the back or on the top. So you've got to use some tweezers and you absolutely have to make sure when you're putting the top coat on there, when they're loose like this, you have to make sure the drop just falls on the heart because if you touch the heart, you will pick it up. It is going to pick up, it is gonna move and you're gonna, it's gonna drive you crazy. It's gonna stick to that brush and just be a huge mess and you don't want that. So make sure that when you use the top coat, you, and you'll see it again in a minute, you just drop it in, don't touch the heart. It will drive you insane. Well, it drives me insane anyway. <laughs> it drives me insane. And you just drop it on there. But see, if you touch it, it picks it up. Ah, it drives me crazy. But then come in with those tweezers, hold your little heart gently, gently, and spread it around. And then we're going to give all of these a nice, deep, beautiful cure to make sure everything is completely hard. And then we've got one more little step before we put them on the nails. Just finishing that up, making sure everything is pretty. Now, no matter how hard you try, there may be a little top coat spillage off on the sides and where you have a little bit that's just super clear, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is grab either some tweezers, right here I'm using some hemostats because those tweezers weren't holding it still enough, and just file those little edges off. And it's super easy, it just files right away, it's just top coat, and that'll give you a more clean shape. Then use your a little brush and some alcohol and clean them off, and flick one on the floor right there. <laughs> And then whatever you use to put your charms and gems on, go ahead and do that. This is just some, some uh, builder gel and it is the Casella builder gel. That's why I have a glove on because I don't want it to touch my skin and I'm just being really careful with my bare hand there because I do not want it on my skin. I'm so allergic to it. Now, if you've got any uh, excess there, just clean it up. Make sure everything's where you want it to be and then pop it in the lamp. And now we are gonna go ahead and come in on this little green tip as well and add that yellow and blue heart using the same process. I'm just checking to see which side I wanted to put up. There we go and into the lamp. Now, if you have anything like when, you, like when I cleaned it up, there was just a little bit bumpiness. So I'm coming in with a little bit more top coat. And these are our finished 3D hearts. I really hope you guys love them as much as I do. Please let me know if you tried this technique and tag me in your Instagram posts so I can see what you come up with. Thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.